The US election 2020 is only days away. Uh, and I've got one thing to say to you here on the report from Tiger Mountain. Donald Trump is a winner and Joe Biden isn't. Stick around. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to give you one final pro-Trump pep talk before the election, which is only uh, hours away, days away. Um, so, yes, I mean, I just wanted to really point out something that's really across the board is the case with Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a winner. He's been a winner his whole life. Um, he has a winning attitude to life. He has a very positive attitude to life. And, um, you know, he's someone who fights and he's had to fight, um, you know, um, the media and, and big tech and the, the fake news and he's had to fight the, the lying democratic parties had to fight impeachment he's had to fight fake scandals like russia 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 i mean and all that time you know the american people have noted he always comes out on top donald trump always wins and i think they respect that you know and if they look at biden he's hopeless he's this and that and the first big scandal that hits him is this thing with hunter biden and his son and and that you know he's uh, you know receiving pay for play from the ukraine receiving pay for play from china and it seems to be undoing him you know even even though they try and cover it up, a lot of people know about this. You know, Joe Biden is the winner, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Biden is the winner. And they've had early voting have come in. And obviously, um, the Democrats expected early voting to really favor them. And it's not really. Uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, Republicans are getting out and doing some early voting as well. Um, they're a little bit ahead in a few states. But the main support of Donald Trump is going to be on the day. So the fact that Joe Biden doesn't have these huge leads in these swing states bodes very well for Donald Trump, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, that's the main point. Early voting doesn't seem to be pushing Biden over the top. And also Biden's campaign was terrible. You hear these rumors from inside his um, campaign that people, you know, there's just no enthusiasm or you, know, you see footage of, you know, a rally. And but even during the pandemic, Donald Trump's rally is absolutely packed. And, and Biden's has got like 10 squares and eight people in the squares and he couldn't even fill two of the squares. So, you know, I think this is going to translate to um, the good news we've been we've been hoping for, which is a second term of Donald Trump. The first last four years has been uh, tremendous outside of this year, um, which I think can you know can be um, you know partly blamed on the attempt to derail uh, Donald Trump. So that we don't want that to succeed. We want Trump um, to keep fighting because that's how you know Donald Trump is doing a lot of good things against the elite class and against um, many of the people who we on the new right hate. Just how much they hate him, right? That's how you know. Because there's just no way they would hate him this vehemently if he wasn't actually out to destabilize them. Destabilize the destabilers and, um, and to defeat, you know, the, 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 um, the ancient enemy. Um, so, you know, that's what I think Donald Trump is doing, at least in part. Even though he's transactional, even though he sometimes negotiates with his enemies, that's still part of Trump's appeal. And Donald Trump is a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Biden isn't. And you know, if you're a betting, uh, you still get decent odds on, on Donald Trump. So if you're a betting person, Get on down to TRB, put $100 on Donald Trump, you'll come up Trumps. Um, that's my advice, and that's the report from Tiger Mountain. Go Trump in the election, and we'll see you uh, for a post-election analysis here on the report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you.